studying, memorizing, and cramming for months for a three-hour exam that could have major implications on your future. That may not be a worry at all for the next generation. To try and base a scholarship award or entrance into a college on something that some people just don't perform well on. Ned Hertzenberg, president of the Cincinnati Scholarship Fund, says test scores aren't even on any of the requirement sheets for the funds the organization handles. It's about community involvement, grade point averages, and letters of recommendation. I think a lot of the colleges are, are kind of getting away from, from that being the determining factor because a, a lot of students just, and it's kind of a cliche, but don't test well. I reached out to our major local universities on their plans for giving out merit-based scholarship money. UC, Xavier, and Miami's Oxford campus will all adopt a test-optional admissions policy starting in the fall of 2021. On UC's student financial aid website, of the 11 scholarships listed, five still require official test scores. Majority of Xavier scholarships boldly state that test scores are required for competitive scholarship consideration. A spokesperson with Miami University sent a statement saying in part, it is important to Miami that students have access to not only admission but scholarships. Due to the uncertainty of testing, we will move forward with the scholarship process where test scores can only help not hurt a student's level of scholarship. And that full statement is on our website, WLWT.com. The Cincinnati Scholarship Fund had about a 20% increase in applications due to the pandemic fallout. Right now, donors are being urged to continue contributing as this is a difficult time for many students. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.